Hello folks, how are you doing? Uh, I've opened the the battery in the car. As you can see, uh, I removed the cover and everything. So once again, as I said in the last video, if you do not know how to do basic things, do not take chances trying to deal with this stuff. It will kill you. Okay, these are high voltage batteries. They are very, very dangerous. This is why I have gloves here. You know, they can kill me too. It's not like, uh, I mean, they will kill you and uh, just be fine with me. Now, to do what I'm trying to do to help this little battery uh, is to connect this one in parallel with the other one that I just built. Now, when you want to connect these two parallel these two batteries in parallel uh, you need to connect them but you don't want to connect them here this is power going to the car to the front of the car to, to the motors when you test voltage here there will be no voltage because the car is off okay these are the relays and the con contactors here when you turn the car on the power comes in here now when you connect batteries in parallel and you connect here well then what that means is you should turn the car on and then after turning the car on turn your new battery pack on okay because if your battery pack is live on these wires when the car get switched off okay when the car gets switched off it will cut the power to this part here through the relays and the con contactors here okay now if your battery is connected here the car will turn these off but there will still be power here so it will burn all the stuff going all the way to the front you don't want to do that you only connect here if you are hundred percent sure that you will be able to turn the car on first before you turn your range extender battery pack okay so you turn the car first then you turn your your new battery the one that will be helping this one on and then when you turn off you turn off your battery pack the range extender battery pack first before you turn off the car so that you kill the battery uh, your your range extender uh, battery a uh, voltage so that it doesn't come here i hope I'm, I'm i hope i'm explaining this very well what i'm trying to say is if you're going to connect here okay because this is Posit negative this side, positive here. If you're going to connect here on the other side of the relays and contactors, okay, then you should always make sure that your battery pack is off first before you turn off the car. Because when you turn off the car, the relays and contactors here, they will switch off here and they wouldn't want to see power here. When they see power here, boom, everything goes into you know it gets fried it gets damaged so what do you want to do to avoid keeping on switching on this and forgetting that blah 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 you want to connect from here you see here and here as long as the there is a, an isolating connector on the other side as long as it's in there you will have power here and you will have power all the time whether it's on or it's off. Like right now, if I touch here and there, okay, that's negative there. This is positive. If I touch this, it will kill me straight away. But I can touch here. There's no power here. I've already tested with, the, with my multimeter. There's no power here at all. You see, I can touch here. But I wouldn't want to mess around with this part here because this is the battery. It's on, okay? So you listen to this very carefully. If you are doing any range extending, whatever, it's here where it's live all the time. Okay? I've seen uh, some people doing this and they connected through here. No, they cut the cable here and make a junction 
and they connected here. Whoa, what he forgot to switch off the pack, and then the whole thing bent, the whole thing broke, and you know what I'm saying. So, so if you're going to do that on a any hybrid or any electric car like Nissan Leaf, with Nissan Leaf, remove the cover, remove the battery from the car, just remove it, drop it on the ground, remove the cover on top and connect behind the contactors and relays because this side is behind this is in front so connect behind behind the relays and contactors then in that way your car will be safe okay folks i thought i should just share this with you so i'm gonna do this finish this uh, put a, a connector cable from here and that one put an isolator on it and then a second breaker then connect to the to the next pack the new pack okay this battery voltage is uh, let me just show you yes so that uh, you know what's going on here let me just show you the voltage on this thing uh, right there is that neat come over here i'm not wearing gloves because i'm not touching anything okay so don't shrink in fear so that will go right there right there so that's negative you will see we have power look it's not connected properly just a second Oh, the isolation thing on the other side. Let me just connect it first. This is the the isolation key that goes here. It goes like so. And then you twist it this way and then you lock it like that. Right, yeah, I've connected it now. So there you are, there's voltage, as you can see, 219. Okay, I'm going to disconnect it again. Yeah, now to just show you here that there's no electricity, look. There's nothing at all, so it's safe. Okay, folks, I'm going to finish doing all the stuff. Put the extension cables and then isolator. When I put the new pack, I will fill my gate. As you can see, they wasted a lot of space. There's huge gaps in between, you know, gaps. All this has taken a huge space. They could have moved this close by here. Get the contactors under this because there's a, a space where the spare wheel is supposed to go, but there's no spare wheel. You know, there's a lot of space here. They could have got this to come almost here so that you have more, you know, more, more batteries in here. But that is exactly what I'm going to say. I'm going to remove all this junk, throw it away, get this new tray, come as close as possible to here, come all the way here. And then I'm going to pour in here Tesla batteries. Them uh, 18650. Lots of them here. If I can have at least about 3,000 here, then this car will be able to do maybe 100 miles straight charge. I hope. You know, because Tesla has about 7,000. And they normally do about 240 miles per charge. And you think Tesla is a very heavy car? Plus, it's a... It's a fast car, huge torque. This small car, it doesn't use a lot of power. So if you have put enough batteries in here, I think probably even 150 miles to a, to a charge, it might do that if I have 3,000 uh, you know, cells in here, uh, 18,650 cells in here. So that's the way it is, folks, okay? I'll keep filming and showing you what's going on. Take care. Bye-bye.